Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we're going to talk a little bit about frustrating tech issues. What do you do about that? How much time do you waste on that? How much time could you save by fixing it, right? The very first thing to think about is, how long have you been tolerating this particular issue? I have a few things going on right now. I have some phone issues, and I have some website issues that just today we were trying to work out and we tried five or six different things, me and my web designer. And um, she's the one that came up with the topic for today, by the way, um, because it was at a certain point, well, how much more are we going to do before we find more information out um, when something wasn't connected? So long story short, we're trying to connect the new Google Analytics 4 to my website. So, you know, they're doing away with the universal analytics and I need to keep my data. So we need to transfer it. I've tried a couple times myself without success. And I um, asked my um, IT guy for some suggestions and help and it just didn't ever quite get done. Um, and in the meantime, one of the things that's causing it is some sort of error on the website, um, something, something error every time we do it. So you have to reload pages constantly when viewing my website. I apologize if this is also happening to any of you when you're looking at my website. Um, but we need to fix it. And I finally, you know, we did as much troubleshooting as we could today, and we will continue and take care of it this week. But it loans itself to this whole thing that I've watched my clients do a lot in the last few weeks. And that is every time any little glitch goes wrong, whether it's sloppy typing or an actual tech issue, or we've had a couple power outages in the last few days due to some storms in the area, whatever it is, people will often just automatically blame Mercury, Mercury retrograde. And while I do believe there might be something to the communication issues and glitchiness here and there, technically tech issues go on and on and on, regardless of when it is. It's much more our reaction to it that can interfere with productivity. If you blame something that you have no control over, you're likely to throw your hands up and go, well, can't do anything about it today. I'm going to go do something else. Or you will try several times wasting time doing the same thing over and over. Now, I do realize that often in, with tech issues, just resetting and trying again is a great way to start the process. Um, but don't be afraid to try something else, to take a deep breath and say, maybe I was a slight, sloppy typer. 99% of the time, that's what happens with me. I type very fast and a little bit sloppily and I'll hit two keys and then it says, no, it's not the right password or no, it's not the, you know, takes me to a site that I didn't anticipate because I spelled it wrong. Those kinds of things are usually user error. But instead of blaming and spinning out of control about how you're a loser and you can't do anything, Remember, you're smarter than you think you are and that no one has all the answers. And when I figured this out, I actually paid a coach because I thought I didn't know enough to solve some of my tech issues. And I thought having the right coach would help me understand better and then I would know what to do. And when we got to these points where I would be frustrated with technology or how to attach something or not understanding it, he literally said to me, None of us do. We Google it <laughs> and we try something. And if it works, fantastic. We don't overthink it. So most of my clients overthink all of it. And that can send you down a spin into what are we working on? Why am I doing this? Technology will never work for me. Kind of all or nothing thinking. Instead, think of it as a, as a way to enhance your own knowledge. Get curious about what you're going to figure out and how you're going to figure it out. And it's basically a checklist. It's not this. OK, check the next thing. It might be OK. It's not that. It might be the next thing. And when you finally figure it out, keep that little cheat sheet handy. I find it helpful to just rewrite the steps I went through um, to troubleshoot something. 
I often never look at it again, but I have one journal that's just kind of like computer issues. And once you figure it out and you write it again, it's in there. It's slightly reassuring. You will know where to find it if it happens again. Chances are next time, though, it'll be something a little bit different. But it does help with the learning process of I solved it. I figured it out. I went through some things, some steps. I tried some stuff and finally it worked. And occasionally it's magical and you have no idea what it was. But it's probably not Mercury. <laughs> it might be, but maybe not. It might just be you. It might be the fact that you've never looked it up before. You can't automatically know all the things ahead of time. So anyway, I, I found it helpful to start looking at my tech issues, the little glitches, more like traffic, something I can control only in that I know alternative routes, right? I might get stuck in traffic and have no way to cope, but it doesn't send me spinning out in a gazillion directions thinking I'm a loser because someone else caused a traffic delay, right? It just is a thing that you've got to navigate around for today. All right. I will see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, turn on your notifications, tell all your friends to see us here next week. Um, at one o'clock for more than organized Monday because it's funner with friends, right? And in the meantime, have a delightful day.